What stands before me is a case of babies having babies, teenagers. This is upsetting. With that said, Ms. Sism, you and your teenage daughter, Destiny, are here to prove that Anthony Taylor is the father of your daughter's eight-month-old son, Osiris. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Riley, you stand before me claiming that you are 100% positive your son is not the child's father and have insisted on a DNA test from the moment you heard Ms. Sism was pregnant. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Sism, how certain are you that Anthony is the father? I'm 2,000% certain, Your Honor, that Anthony is the father of Osiris. And you are emotional already. Yep. I have a grandson that's eight months old. He needs his father. I lost my dad when I was two. So, I know what it's like not to have a father. But I'm not here because of me. I'm not here because of Destiny. I'm here because of Osiris. Destiny, you truly believe Anthony is this child's father? Yes, Your Honor. You've changed the course of your life by having this baby. Yes, Your Honor. Did your mother know you were having sex? No, Your Honor. When I would call Destiny on her cell phone, she'll say she's at her friend's house. So that's what, that's what I was believing. She was sneaking at my house. She was coming over here lying, conniving, saying, I have a 14-year-old daughter at home. She was sneaking over there, hollering about she was coming over there to see my daughter. That's a lie, Your Honor. My son was going to see... How are you going to tell me what's a lie? Because, you Your Honor, Honor you didn't they even was care. having sex in her you house. You didn't even care and she, your daughter What type of parent is she? You she going to tell them. Your daughter was she told you them. She told hold them. Hold on, hold on. Hold she on, hold on. let's get some order. order. Let's get some know. order, ladies. She knew they were... I can't... Ladies, ladies. The greatest part about this is you all saying the same thing, blaming the opposite child. They had a plan. Destiny was gonna say, I'm going over to visit my friend. Exactly. That's your daughter. Right. But really, the whole time, she, she having child. sex with your son. Yes. That's both of them teenagers having sex. My point is That's exactly. the plot. And I didn't know. That's the plot. So, the reason why we're here is to get down to the bottom of if this child is really your grandchild. Because I know you want to know that. Yes, ma'am. Now, Destiny, before I go further, was my summation of the plot, correct? Yeah, Your Honor. Mm. Thank you. Your Honor, I see her walking with another guy. My son at school, this is before Destiny even said anything about she was pregnant. Next thing you know, I find out she old. My son come telling me that she told him that she pregnant. How is that? Mm -hmm. You, you so... just came around two, uh, two weeks ago? And he was messing with another girl at the time. You saw Destiny walking with somebody else. Yes, another guy. So, you never even thought that thought Destiny was having sex with your son. No, I didn't. Because you just thought Destiny and her group of friends were friends with your daughter. Yes. Now, to mom, Miss Sism, you know it's Miss Riley's house where she's going to have. Mm -mm. You don't know. She just saying, I'm going over my friends. That's all That's I where know. I am. That's all so, I you know. don't even know about Anthony. No. You think your daughter's a virgin. Mm. She was a virgin when she met Anthony. So, right. therefore, yes, it's Anthony's baby. No, and it's not. that's what we're here for, to get this deal. It's not my grandbaby. Okay, yeah. you ain't... Don't claim him. You ain't claim him in eight months. Mm. Don't claim no, him now. Y'all ain't did nothing for him. I've been taking care of this baby. They don't that's do nothing for him. That's a lie. They don't do nothing for him. Sure, no. All right. It's not my grandbaby. It's not my grandbaby. Ladies, ladies. My daughter had big Ladies, 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 ladies. You're saying, Miss Sism, your daughter had big dreams for her life. Yes, she did. Dreams to do what? My daughter is a senior this year. She was going to college to be a pediatrician and a lawyer. Now she cannot do that because she has Osiris. Oh, like my son didn't have dreams. Care. Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. She has yeah. Osiris to take care of. Oh, wow. So she cannot do that now. So basically, right up under your nose, they plotted this plot, pulled it off, and now we're all here. Yeah. And You're sometimes right. that's what kids do. And I'm gonna keep it real. With all the phone and cell phone having we got and all of this communication, Ms. Sism, it ain't never a day in this world your daughter should be able to tell you spend a night over a friend's house. What friend? Who's the mother? Where's the number? I'm calling. Yes. I I work... yes. I'm telling you this. Yes. No, I'm I telling you this. One. Now, Destiny, where were you and Anthony having sex? In her house? Yes. When... While Miss Riley was home? Yes, Your Honor. She knew I was there because I get mm. off work 
I'll enter there and be like, my mom says you can come over. And I'll say, okay. I will go over there. The I will come I will come in, say hi, Miss Brenda. She say hi. We go upstairs. I Where's spend the night. She don't say nothing about it. You Fire. spend the night at, yes. at the house? Yes, Your Honor. In Anthony's bed? Yes, Your Honor. Fire. Well, wait a minute, Miss Sism. Where did you think she was? Over her friend's house. Her daughter is another friend. I even asked Destiny. Did she know you was oh. having sex in her house? You know what Destiny told me, Your Honor? She said, yeah, because she told them, I hope y'all using condoms. She said, she, she said, Destiny said, she uh -huh. gave Anthony condoms. Yes, what type of parent is that? What? That ain't no parent. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let's get to the part where you find out you're pregnant. How do you find out? I had, had a, my period. Okay. I ended up throwing up. Anthony said, you should go to the hospital because I think you're pregnant. I went and they said I was pregnant. When I found out, I went to her house. And when I walked through the door and I had my papers, she said, let me guess, you're pregnant. I said, yes. So she called her husband and said, well, Destiny's pregnant, but we don't know if it's Anthony baby or not. At first, Anthony, he didn't want no Cyrus. He said, well, we might we just, we should wait. And then he was washing dishes. He was like, we should just wait to have a baby because I'm not stable. He, like, you got a job, but I don't, and I don't, wanna, I don't want you to be the only one taking care of him. So we go upstairs, we talk more about it, and he said, you know what? I don't feel safe in the streets, so I think you should have my child just in case if I leave this earth. You can have something to remember me by. Anthony has so many people that was after him that wanted to hurt him, and that's why he wanted me to have his baby. Oh, my God. So, oh, so I, I can have destiny. something to remember him by. And it was so <laughs> much he didn't you tell good. his mom you that good. she <laughs> don't know. Okay, so, Mom, how did you find out your daughter was pregnant? She told a family member, and they told me. Went to the doctor, pregnant. I broke down, I have a nervous breakdown. I had to be in the house with her for two weeks. Oh, my goodness. Because... Be, because my baby having a baby. Because no. you wasn't being a parent. During the no. pregnancy... No, use a doctor. Is Anthony with you? Yes. Yes. He came to appointments with you? Yes. And when the baby, baby was born, were, was he at the but hospital? He was there. Yes, we was there. all there. And he cut the cord and everything. He cut the cord and everything. She it. even came without nobody inviting her. Came where? To the house, Phil. Don't say you didn't. Wait a minute. Because they escorted you, you out. Me and Destiny for. had her I escorted out of the house. I wanted to see what's my grass. By you security. Being born. We and sure did. She came one out. at a time. I wanted one to at a see what's my grandbaby being born in her room. Unselfish, disrespectful self. She comes in there. I'm in the waiting room. She's sitting the guard in there and tell them I'm lying sure did. and said I'm threatening her I sure and I did. and I need to be because removed. She from did. So I never had my joy I to sure see did. was that's my grandson. I sure did. So I, I don't feel it's Do my you want to know why? So you've been saying all this time, Anthony is the father of this child. You've been c consistent. Anthony's participated in the birth. Yes, he the has. The day of the birth yes, comes. Because they put the No, hold on. Yes, he has. I'm getting to that part. Okay. So, Ms. Riley, you and your daughter come up because you say, since they're saying it's Anthony's baby, yes. this is my grandchild, let me go up there for the birth. Right. She has me removed out the I hospital sure I so sure she can get honor. my son to no. sign this. This is a birth certificate. My son ain't old enough to be doing all you this. You believe she yes. had you removed from the hospital yes. strategically yes. because yes. they wanted to coerce right. your son into That's signing the I birth certificate? That's you on the right no, today. Right. One of her family members threatened us. So, yes, I did because my daughter ain't finna go through this with her. She young. I tried to call this woman and talk to this woman like a woman when she was pregnant. So, don't sit up here and tell her that. Calm down. Calm down, ladies. Oh, wait a minute. Ladies, ladies. Ladies, hold on. Let's just calm down. I'm trying to get your point, and now I get it from your perspective because you feel like in the moment you came to the hospital, you could have deferred at least the part of it where he signed the birth certificate and took legal responsibility for the child until you could get the DNA that you have been talking about. Yes, ma'am. Got that side. Miss Sism, the mothers have been going back at it. It has gotten so negative and so volatile that when your daughter was in the hospital having the baby as a teen, you didn't feel comfortable to bring the energy that Miss Riley brings into the hospital room. Right. Now, I'm ready to hear from Anthony. Ron, please escort Anthony into the courtroom. I think I got it. 
What? Woo! <laughs> Anthony, we have had a heated court session today concerning Osiris. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Do you believe you are Osiris's biological father? Yes, I do. You do believe that? Yes. And tell me why. Because I picked destiny and I took her virginity and I felt like I was getting into a lot of trouble and things that was happening. And I felt like I needed another person that like got me like my blood. And like, I didn't want to have a baby, but as in a, like the things that I was like going through and like by my cousin dying and everything else is like, I wanted a baby because I felt like one day it was going to be time for me to die. And I wanted, like, I wanted, I wanted just like another seed in this world. So I decided to have a baby. And I believe you're telling the truth. And even if your rationale weren't necessarily truly indicative of what your future is, I respect and I honor the fact that you are honest enough to say what was really going on in your mind and why you would make this decision. My son, he's been through a lot. His dad and his, le his life left him when he was about six years old. All I asked, Your Honor, was for the DNA. That's all I ever wanted to know, so my son can have a life. But now that he's testified that he truly does believe he is Osiris's biological father, does that change your mind? No. Destiny, we're gonna go to the results soon, and, and, but before I do, when your mom talks about you wanting to be a pediatrician and a lawyer, and you having these huge dreams for your life, why would you engage in activity that would produce a child that would give you such huge responsibility in this world? When Anthony first asked me, can he take my virginity, I said no, but I just felt like I had love for him in my heart, so why not do anything that that makes him happy. Baby, and this is nothing against Anthony because he seems like a lovely young man. He is. You don't give up your life and the possibilities for your future and everything you can be just to make somebody else happy. Right. You first have a responsibility to yourself to make yourself happy. Just because somebody asks you to do something for them, you have to consider whether that's in your best interest. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. We're here now. Osiris is here now. You all are kids. You all know what the world you're doing. The rationale is so irrational, it's scary. I get the reason, but the immaturity and the lack of understanding in which you approach this entire situation you all, we got to do better. And truly, we still don't know definitively if this is his biological child. Are there any other possible fathers until I get these results? No, Your Honor. Ron, the envelope, please. Yes, ma'am. In the case of Sism versus Riley Taylor, when it comes to eight-month-old Osiris Taylor, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Taylor, you are his father. Now! Yeah! Yeah! I, I, I ain't gonna get to see him now! Now I told you! He's taking care of me. No, I got another... And I'm he gonna take, keep taking care of him. Yeah, you and at the end of that, that is my grandson. I'm still gonna me. take care of him. This is about the most ignorant stuff I done seen in here in a long time. Sit down. Sit down. Miss Sism, you sit in that chair. Miss Sism, sit down. And Miss Riley, have a seat. This is just ignorant. Come over here, Anthony. Sit down. You all are just, this is shameful. And in this moment, just when I thought these kids had pulled off a plot against both of you all, to defy their mother's orders and to do what they shouldn't be doing? I see why they had opportunity. These children have come in here, whether they made a mistake or not, they have spoken from their heart or why they did something. 
the most irrational, immature reasoning ever, but it's their truth. That's how they got here. And I'm gonna keep it real too, Miss Sism. The way Destiny just popped off with her little dance after I announced the result, that was so ignorant. And then you followed up and showed me where she learned it from. Come on with this. The boy sitting over here talking about he want to leave a seed in the world because he don't understand the possibilities for his life. And you all arguing back and forth with one another instead of encouraging and empowering these young people. I'm furious. Your daughter's putting her dreams, opening her legs, trying to get a dream up between her legs instead of having a dream in her mind. And you want to argue with this woman across this courtroom. Come on now. Now y'all done made me crazy. Y'all think y'all crazy, I'm crazy for these kids and this baby. You ain't gonna do this to this child. Your Honor. Mr. Deggs, you are here today hoping you are the biological father of the defendant's three-year-old son, Jason. You have petitioned the court for paternity test because you claim your ex, Ms. Guerin, first led you to believe that you were Jason's dad, but when the baby was six months old, she confessed that you may not be the biological father. You say Jason is the most important thing in your life, and you are praying the results today turn out in your favor. Yes, ma'am. Now, Ms. Guerin, you admit you slept with another man at the time your son was conceived, but you say that was only after the plaintiff strayed. You, too, are unsure about your son's paternity and are desperate for today's results. Now, Mr. Deggs, when did you first find out Ms. Guerin cheated on you? We were together about a year. Mm -hmm. At the time, we were moving out of my best friend's apartment. And uh, it was just about that I got the truck loaded up with everything. And I went upstairs to grab my last box. And my best friend at the time pulled me aside and told me him and my brother had both slept with Megan. What? I was hurt. They both? Your both. Honor. He they cheated in the very beginning of our relationship. It was even now, before we were a month together Ms. Guerin, when we first cheated. Boy, before you get to what he did, I want to know, is it true? Yes, it is true. I do admit that I did do those things. I did cheat on him with his best friend and his brother. Oh. I was very young at the time. Ms. Guerin, how did you end up with his best friend? Well, honestly, it just happened. I didn't do it out of spite towards him or anything. It's not because I'm a bad person. At the time, I was lacking affection from him. He was never home. He was always. I work, Your Honor. I work full time to okay, make sure that her nails and he her hair come, get done. After he would get off to work, sure he never she came happier. home. Would you want and me to... he left me in the apartment all the time with a roommate that he working. knew was full attracted time. to me and wanted to be with me. And so you did what? Your home and the best friend's home. Well, we were drinking, and he was showing interest in me, made me feel pretty, and was giving me everything at the time that Jason was not, was actually because being I was a at friend. Work. And in that one no. day at work, he gave you everything Mr. Deggs never gave you? No, I did not say that. Your Honor, I loved her. She was my childhood sweetheart. I loved her. If that this was girl. the case, then he wouldn't have cheated and said that he was going to leave me for his ex girlfriend when she. That was... wasn't true. Yes, it is true. That wasn't all right, true so, Ms. Guerin, did you regret it, or you just felt like, I'm yes. so glad he thinks I'm cute? No, absolutely, I regretted it. I, it was awkward to know that I was keeping something from but my boyfriend. But you slept with my brother, too. Yes, You after. slept with my best friend and my oh. brother. So, if, if okay, twice the Ms. pain? Ms. Guerin, yes. please tell the twice court. Twice the pain. How did you end up with his brother, too? His brother, I was really young at the time. and You keep the best... talking about how young you were. If you were so young, you shouldn't have been sleeping with everybody. Okay. Okay. Now, That's fair enough. how did you end up sleeping with his That's fair brother? Enough. It was an attraction. It was, he was paying me the attention that Jason was not. Because I was if at work. I felt, I felt replaceable to what Jason. What did you want me to do? I felt replaceable to him. So, yes, I did look for affection and everything I want in a relationship. In I somebody moved, else. I moved you in. in you paid else. nothing. You were taken care of. You worked you for did. the newspaper. You news moved paper. out of your mom's. Yeah. So you're like I did barely work for making the newspaper, it in a, but an still, apartment. But okay. I was still okay. making it. All right, let's get some order. Cheated What's your excuse? Let me understand this. She's so a hoe. after he slept with. <laughs> All right. You two okay, might not know brother. how to respect each other outside of the courtroom, but in this courtroom, we must remain respectful. Yes, Your Honor. Now, after you found out Ms. Guerin slept with your best friend, 
and your brother, mm -hmm. surely She's still safe. you were done with her. No, no, Your Honor. I loved her that much mm -hmm. that I wanted to work on it again. Wow. Because I loved her because that much. Because he knew he cheated from the gate. No, because I loved yes? you. Okay. I loved had you, you. Had you cheated? Not until after. That's when I strayed. When you slept with my best friend and my brother is when I strayed. I realize, Mr. Diggs, maybe you cheated as well. However, uh, that would not affect the paternity of the child we're talking about. Okay. So I want to get to the point of when you realized you were pregnant. When I found out I was pregnant, um, we had a lot of problems at that time. We had already cheated on each other. And then I met somebody else that was taking care of me. And I ended up sleeping with him while I was with Jason. When you give birth to yes. the child, he was there. Yes, was he was there. there. I cut the cord. I've been there since day one, taking care of this baby and this woman. <laughs> since day one, Your Honor, I was there. And then she has the nerve to wait. Mr. Diggs, you thought this child was yours. Something. Yes, Your Honor, I sure did. No doubts in your mind. You're going no on about your all. life. You ready to get my family baby. established? Make the family that you know, I, I never had. No, he telling me how much of a cheater I was, how, how bad I was, everything. You're just... Yeah, because I was still hurt. Okay. But I was okay. trying to... <laughs> okay! Do you understand why Your he was Honor, hurt, Ms. Garrett? He, I'm not the only one that cheated in this I had a rough I know, but, but I had to deal with you're so the many one, different women. But you're the one that's here with a paternity issue regarding yes. the child in question, and you're the one that slept with his brother and his best friend. <laughs> And you were the only one during the entire pregnancy that knew that there was doubt as to whether he was the, the father. So you, you got to understand at least why he could be a little hurt. Of course. I had a rough childhood. Of course. I wanted I to be daddy. I just want to say that I did decide not to tell Jason right away because I did want the family. I did believe that Jason was going to be a great dad. And... I, I am something. a great dad. I'm a great dad right now. How important is this baby to you? You said you didn't have a great childhood. How important is the baby to you? The baby is the most important in my life that I could, the most important thing in my life that I've, that's ever been important to me. During the entire pregnancy and for six months after that, you allowed him to believe that he was the father of this child, knowing in your mind that maybe he wasn't. Yes. That's correct. That is correct. Mr. Dex, now take me to that day where, unfortunately, you got that bomb dropped on you. I think we were in an argument, and I know where she throws at me. You're probably not even Jason, the daddy of Jason anyway. No, I, I crumbled not right there, and started like crying. That. I would never what? do that. You told me after this long that I'm not the daddy and we're in an argument? What is it? Am I the dad or am I not? How are you going to break my heart like that? <sighs> I love that little boy. And I know what it's like not having a dad there. So I wanted to be everything that I could be. You love your free time and, and all the women that you no, love. No, you to love go your hang free time and hanging out with this dude here. Because no. you left Jason for three months Why? with your because mom and me. So that better. I could take care of him and you take care of him. No, no, you guys move. Let's get some issues. order. I, I just I, want I, to state that I have never, ever left my son and abandoned him ever. So, Mr. Deggs and Ms. Guerin, we need to go forward in our conversation Please. because I'm trying to understand. The from reason you both. why I didn't tell him right away, Your Honor, is because I was truly at a a horrible place in knowing what I did. But the reaction that I got from him, he was happy. And we wanted a family. We were together. I did stray away from the but relationship. Now you got and I felt, can you please let me talk for a second? I let you play what you wanted to say. Let her talk. I don't need to play daddy. I actually I take did, care of him. I did yeah. feel like Sorry, we could build a family together. And then, yes, I did have to tell him because I was struggling within myself of the truth. Of, it was so it was bothering not me a lot. Just that cold and callous. Absolutely it was bugging not. you. Absolutely. And it so was more after to get it off she my told chest. you this, Mr. Deggs, mm -hmm. and she was just honest and laid it out there, mm -hmm. were you torn? Did or were you instantly yeah. just done with it? And I expected I was, as much. I was torn. I, if I'm the father, like leaving, it bothered me every out. day. 
you know, I had so many different Yeah, but you what did weren't you man enough to do anything about it. I still stayed with her. I stayed you with her. You stayed with her again. I, again. Again, I stayed with her. Moved us into a house. Was working again. Okay, I want to hear from you, Ms. Marshall. Please stand up. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you for joining us today. Now, please tell us what you have to add to this. Um, Your Honor, I've known Jason since we were 13 years old. He's been one of my best friends. And then, yes, we started dating. The minute we started dating, all the problems came. Megan would blow up his phone. She texted him and was like, you better keep your job, honey, because all I want is your money. I never, and she have was, ever, it was ever bad. said that. And she that. was like, you know, all I want is your money. All you I need made to do my is own money, work. honey. And you saw these texts. Megan did not like me from the gate. I never Why? I don't, know. Know. Um, I don't know. I really don't. I never had a run in with her. I never said nothing rude to her. I wasn't How nasty towards her. How can I not like her. somebody and I didn't was know? Constant, constant, constant. So Jason and I ended up breaking up because I just couldn't. I couldn't do that to him. Because you cheated on him. And I couldn't do that to Jason. Why don't you tell the truth? So they cheated on him too. You're here today Bother. because you feel as if Jason, Mr. Diggs, is a better parent than Ms. Garen. 100%. <laughs> oh my God. 100%. Thank you. You may be seated. Ms. Garen. Yes. This is complicated because you have a new boyfriend and you say he's also stepped up to be Absolutely. a father. He stepped Please. up beyond my expectations of okay. he's All done right, more I than meet Jason over the last Mr. Three Felton, years. Please yeah, stand now so we can hear your testimony from the podium instead of the chair. Mr. Felton, please stand now so we can hear your testimony from the podium instead of the chair. Yes, Your Honor. All right, in your statement to the court, you actually said that you've been the father to this child, even though there's no chance you're the biological father, but you're saying that you are the man that stepped I, I do, up. I do things that a father is supposed to do. Right. I never try and take the place of his biological father because I'm not his biological father. And what is it that you do for the child? I take care of him. Um, you know, when Megan's working, if I have the day off, then of course, I'm taking care of him. If he needs to go to an appointment or something, make sure he gets there. It's fun to be around. Of course, he's a three-year-old. You test your patience sometimes, but it's getting I mean, I know all about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your testimony. You may be seated. Yes, Yana. Thank you. Okay. What do you want from this, Ms. Garen? Do you want Mr. Dag to be the father? For me right now, no. I don't, I don't not want Jason to be the father because every weekend it's drama. It's another girl. Mr. Diggs. What do you want from today? I want to be in Jason's life. I love Jason. No, that's why With he's all called my heart us and soul. for the last. And if he is your son, are you willing to step up? Yes, of in course. every way. In every way. And if he's not? If he's not, then it's going to be re really hard for me. Jerome, I think it's time for the results. Here you go, Yona. Mhm. Mm so ready. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Deggs versus Garen, when it comes to baby Jason Deggs, Mr. Deggs, you are not the father. And that's for the best. Honestly, it's for the best because he has only stayed this long so that he could get whatever benefit he's getting out of it. Benefit? But honestly, what Your benefit Honor, am I wait, 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 wait. Taking no. care of a three-year-old child. I am disgusted that you would perpetrate this lie on this man during your entire pregnancy up through a delivery room, let him cut the cord on a baby. I know you know good and well that wasn't his child. I could tell by the look on your face today. He was more nervous than you were. Sometimes I have to get up here as a judge and give what I think, but right now, I'm gonna tell you what I think as a woman. Now, you sitting up there and you got a cute face, but you got ugly ways. <laughs> that was wrong. And I feel like you have not wholeheartedly acknowledged to this man that you purposefully deceived him and allowed him to get attached 
to a baby that you can see your own new boyfriend, Mr. Felton, loves. But you let him invest his heart and soul and his money and his time, and then you sit up in front of this court and in front of me as a woman and suggest, oh, you just did that to get what you wanted to get out of it. What he does did. he want to get out of it? With still trying to be involved with me and also being... Oh, yes. I should have known. That's a huge part of it. It's a huge part of it. I should have known it was going to be about you. It's not about me. It's now, not about me. now. You're standing here, and the only one emotional on the brink of tears is him. Because I'm excited, Your Honor. I'm excited I don't have to deal with all the drama that comes and with it. I am. I don't... Look, I do not get anything from this man except for again, a problem. Who is it about? It's about my son, and who that's why Who is it about? Here. No, no, no. You just said you're excited because you don't have to deal because with the I drama. Get to move on. I haven't heard you say once move on. that I, I, you know, my son didn't know him as a father. I've got to figure out how to make this transition. You haven't Honor, said one have. mothering thing your up Honor. here since you got the result, and that's not good enough, <laughs> Mr. Diggs. You know, I, I've paved my whole way, my whole life around this child, and now to know that I'm not his father. It kills me inside. It now kills me inside. Now you can move inside. to California and do all the things that you said you wanted to do. When a man is expressing his pain, and I'm just trying to have one more, a pain you cause. Gavel all over the place. I'm talking about a pain you purposefully cause. He's just trying to tell me how he felt. But no, it's got to be about you again. Look, baby, you gonna have to learn something. This world now, you a mother. It's not about you. Whether you want to admit it exactly. or not, your child has a love and attachment for this man, because yes. you made it so. No. Let me tell you something. He could have left and after six months. And let me tell no. you something. And then my something. son wouldn't have known him this long. Listen, you know what? You know what? It is rare that I have to do this, but I can't even look at you no more. Jerome, escort her out. Please.